Hey guys, Robert Riley with Tractor Stackers Outdoors. Today we're going to show you a couple different ways to remove all the red meat, bad meat, out of a spoonbill or a paddlefish. Uh, we're going to show you a quick and easy way. Cut it, slice it, you're done. Then we're going to show you the old fashioned way where you slice each individual piece. So stay tuned and see how we get it done. Okay, first thing you're going to want a fairly sharp knife. And then this is uh, bad meat, belly fat, stuff like that. You're going to want to go ahead and cut all that off there. I leave it, y'all! Yeah. All this belly fat, bad meat. Cut that off. This fish has actually been soaking in ice for uh, about two days now, so. It's good and cold. Easy to work with when they're cold. And this stuff, this is just blood. That'll all rinse out when you're when you go to your washing step. Alright, now that the front side, the top side, your meat side of the flay's cleaned off, you want to flip it over. This is your bad stuff. If you can see right here, I don't know if you guys can see it, but right there there's a white vein that runs straight down the middle of this fish, and that's actually where it was hooked, and we'll cut all that bad out of it. That white vein, you just want to go straight down the center of it. And that exposes both loins, what I call top and a bottom loin. And then you can see your actual line of red meat and white meat. Take your, there's this one here. You can see the white meat, that's good stuff we're gonna eat. It actually gets thicker on this side. This red meat will thin out as it gets to the bottom or the top of the fish. So now you just wanna take, and it's gonna be hard to see, you just want to take your knife and angle it down like this and go straight along that that vein line that red meat you'll angle down to the other side point of your knife should just be on the on your cutting board or your cutting surface whatever you have and then flip it over this is all red meat you see we didn't lose hardly any of the white meat there it's all dirty so it's all red meat you do not want to eat that red meat folks see there then you got your all this is good white meat might have a few spots to trim here and there you'll have your two separate bags I always put them in bags and then put them package them up for freezing several different ways and there's several different ways to cook this but Always cut your loin in half, or at least I do. Cut my loin in half. Goes in there, and you come to your next fillet. Like I said, this one's got the big hole in it, so we'll get rid of all that. Should get rid of all that with the cutting out process here. And sometimes you'll leave a little more red meat on your fillets. Sometimes you'll see like there, I left some got down into it. That's no big deal. Just come back and trim that off. Come down right through there just like that. Trim all that extra red off. And there is an actual washing process or washing process that uh, we do. and We've done it for years and people think we're crazy when we tell them to do it like this. but. If you actually use the original blue Don dish soap, it works like a dream. dream. Just get you just a little bit of Don dish soap, a little bit of cold water, stick your spoonie, after it's been cleaned, of course, stick your spoonie fillet down in it and scrub it up really good. And man, you'd, you'd be amazed. All right, now we're going to show you the old way that we used to do it. Well, partially. Then I'm going to go back to the way we do it now. 
course, in the other video, we showed you a couple ways to do it just right off the fish where you don't have to mess with any of this. But it was kind of pressed for time that day, so we just showed you on one fish. All right. We flipped it over, and we cut our fingers in it. And then we come back at each little piece and cut this red meat out. There's a piece of meat. There's one piece. Go on the bucket. There's your red meat gone. There's another piece. Go on your bucket. Do it again. We'd get to where we'd cut all our fingers and everything like that. And this is a way to do it if you don't have the experience of the vein line and you're angling of your knife. It took you know, I've been doing this since I was probably six or seven years old. I think I caught my first spinny when I was six. So, been doing this for a pretty good while, but we'd get to the point where we knew what we could, you know, how to get everything laid out and who was cutting. It was basically an assembly line. But now we got her down to doing her a little different way, a little fast. See, you're not leaving hardly any good meat on there. This is all red meat telling you that it's terrible tasting meat and there isn't hardly an edible part on the spoon bill that I haven't eaten the white meat when it's cooked properly and cleaned properly is delicious see there's one flay there's your other one I wish I could get let's see if I can get a better angle and like I said you just angle your knife you want to back of your knife to touch the top of your red and the tip of your knife just to be on the other side of your touching your flay board. Like I said, it's going to take a few times and you know, you're still going to have red meat left. There's a bunch I just left on there. It takes a little time to get used to. And like I said, you can always come back and clean it up later. But I tell you doing it like this, even though you gotta come back sometimes like that, clean up your loins, doing it like this is a time saver. And there's one loin there, ready to go. And you can take this and you can cut it into little fingers like I showed you on that other one. You can actually leave your loin whole, grill it. You know, we fry a lot of it. And uh, grill it, I got a can cooker I used to cook a lot with. And it works really good. I love it grilled. I've smoked it before. Smoking it is very, very good. Using uh, you want to use a real light wood, cherry wood, or an apple wood, so it doesn't get too harsh in your fish. But it works out great. See there, beautiful play. That's one more, and then you know you don't. You catch 50 pound fish and you might get 20 30 pounds of meat off of it so you never really get a whole lot because a lot of it is guts and stuff like that but That's how we do it. I'm gonna go ahead and get the rest of these cleaned up. I got a cooler full of them and I'm in a hurry, so thanks for watching. Remember, stay outdoors, stay family. Yeah.